Clash Royale has had many ups and downs throughout its 7 year history. One year it's popping off and everyone is uploading videos for it, and the next it can feel like everyone hates the game and the community's dead. For that reason, we've seen many creators come and go. So today we're going to be looking at 15 of these YouTubers who were once at the height of the Clash Royale YouTube community, but have since moved on. So with that being said, let's get right into it. Let's do this. Olong Johnson. Olong Johnson. Olong Johnson was the most popular Funny Moments channel in the Clash Royale scene by a mile. He could easily pull in millions of views per video, and that's no surprise because they were actually entertaining. His channel was specifically focused on this kind of content, but by episode 85, it seemed Olong Johnson was growing tired of the same thing, and would experiment with Fortnite videos sprinkled with the occasional Clash Royale video. But only a few weeks later, it seemed he was completely done with Clash Royale. Later on, he would create content for Brawl Stars around its global launch and even one final Clash Royale video in December 2019. However, that was short lived and he would once again move on to other games. But the story doesn't end there though, because in June 2021, he would return in another channel uploading Clash Royale. But only a year later, he would express that he wasn't enjoying the game anymore whatsoever and that he couldn't get back into the game. Eclipse. Oh, what's going on guys? My name's Eclipse and today I have a little bit of- I mentioned Eclipse in my Clash of Clans video and that's because he was around before Clash Royale and in fact, we did some really fun collaborations back in those days. But in 2016, when Clash Royale came out, he would grow significantly, reaching over 1 million subscribers. He was most known for uploading everything Clash Royale, from decks, challenges, to leaks and glitches, basically anything. But views would slow down in 2018. He would switch games a number of times, though during these shifts in interest, his channel was slowly declining. He would return to Clash Royale multiple times and one last time in 2022, but found very little success. And it seems like he privated all of his recent Royale videos because I couldn't find the ones I talked about just a video ago. However, he's still very much active in a different channel for e-commerce, and as far as I can see, things seem to be going pretty well for him. Bootramp. What's up y'all, Bootramp here and welcome back to another Clash Royale video. Like many creators at the time, Bootramp was already a familiar face in the Supercell scene by the time Clash Royale came out. He was previously uploading daily Clash of Clans and Boom Beach videos. But as you may have guessed, Clash Royale was a major success and a lot of creators made the jump to that. Bootramp was mostly uploading Clash Royale every day for years, most known for casual gameplay, decks, chest openings, and more. And for many, it was routine to tune into some boot tramp. But eventually, it seems he grew tired of the game, uploading his last Clash Royale video on July 6, 2019. From there on out, he would experiment with other games, even changing his name to King Bumble, and even though he would never achieve the same success, happiness is far more important than numbers. Chief Pat Welcome back to a brand new Clash Royale video, guys. My name is Patrick, aka Chief Pat, and today... Pat is probably remembered most for his Clash of Clans videos, but his Clash Royale days are some of the most memorable, especially how he was a master at using the rocket card. I think Pat needs no introduction, so let's jump right into his Royale days. When Clash Royale came out, he would pump out Clash Royale content daily, from casual gameplay, decks, to challenges. Now, Pat was always known to focus on one game, so so when he switched from COC to Clash Royale, we saw very little COC after that. And the exact same thing would occur for Clash Royale. When Brawl Stars went global, the Clash Royale video slowed down dramatically, and by the end of 2018, that was the last time he would entirely focus on it. There were some one-off episodes every now and then, but the last one was a few years ago. Although he stopped uploading entirely nowadays, Pat seems to be doing just well. He's the founder and owner of Tribe Gaming, and and esports organization, and he does appear in some videos every now and then. Radical Raj. Hey, what's up, everyone? Roshan here, and back again with another Clash Royale video. In this you may know Radical for his graphic designs, as over the years he's created some of the most memorable, lifelike 3D renders, and he would also make the art for many channels like Eclipse and Clash with Ash, to name a couple. In the early days of his channel in 2016, this was his primary focus, featuring his own work. However, later that year, he would dabble with some gameplay here and there, and over the years, he would also make some Brawl Stars content. But in May 20. 
2020, he would upload his last Clash Royale video and put 100% of his focus to Brawl Stars. I couldn't really find the reason for leaving Clash Royale behind, but I think it's safe to assume, like most creators on this list, he probably just got tired of making content for it. There were some Clash Royale related posts on his social medias, but it's been close to 8 years since anyone last heard of him on those. But I can confirm that he's still very well active on his personal accounts, but I'm going to leave it at that. Ash. Hey guys, it's Ash, and today we have a special guest here with me. We have Oxalate. Not to be confused with Clash with Ash, Ash follows the trend of most people on this list. Started with Clash of Clans, and when Royale came out, the channel would grow significantly. Ash was known to be very competitive, so you could expect some good decks, high level gameplay, and I believe he was at the top leaderboard, but I, I don't know if I'm remembering that correctly. But as explained in a video years later, Ash felt he was getting addicted and way too competitive, and he would step away from the scene to focus on his education in 2017. In his return in early 2018, he would continue the Clash Royale content, but that was short-lived and he would fall in love with Brawl Stars instead, which made his channel blow up once again. He would never return to Clash Royale and still does Brawl today, but like many channels, a lot of them tend to focus on one game and lose interest in the other, and so if I had to guess, I think that's what happened. Clash on Gan. Alrighty, hey guys, what's up? Clash on Gan here. Hope you guys are doing well. Don't forget to subscribe. Most remember Clash on Gan for his chess openings and decks, but as a lot of creators on this list, he already had years on the platform making Clash of Clans content. So switching to Clash Royale was fairly easy and proved to be the right move. Gan had a strong start when the game launched, and he would continue uploading various kinds of videos. Like we mentioned, chess openings, decks, update news, your typical content for the time. This would continue on for years. However, it seems his content strategy was beginning to lose its touch, and perhaps he had run out of ideas, as he would upload practically the same video for months. Eventually, his channel started to decline, uploading his last Royal video in May 2020. He would try to branch into Brawl Stars and other games, but found very little success, and then he would disappear entirely. Honestly, I hope wherever Gan is today, he's doing okay. We were really good friends back in the day, before Clash Royale existed, and he seemed like a genuine person. Nick at night. I didn't even know. Don't elite barbs me. Don't elite. <laughs> Wait. I would have put them in a better spot, but you know, you know. Nick and Molt. That probably brings a lot of nostalgia when you hear it because they were once the biggest channels in the Supercell community. By far the best duo we had ever seen. The chemistry between these two made up for funny and entertaining content, and together they would garnish millions of views per video. But fast forward to today, the legendary duo is no more. In this part of the video, we'll be talking about Nicole, formerly known as Nick. But in this video, we'll be referring to Nick as well. What I remember him as, so we'll be using words like he and him until it's relevant. Nick at Night, like many, got his foot in the door with Boom Beach and Clash of Clans all the way back in 2013, but when Clash Rio came out, he would immediately put most of his focus on that. At some point, daily videos with Mole became routine, and it didn't take long for viewers to realize how entertaining the duo was. For the next three or four years, Nick's channel would skyrocket to well over 2 million subscribers. But as explained in an interview, things weren't so great behind the scenes as his mental health had been declining for years at that point, which began to take a toll on his channel and personal life, until he would eventually stop uploading sometime in 2021. He would try to make a return numerous times, even trying new games, but to no avail. Sometime in 2022, Nick would upload an update on what he had been up to and explain he was doing much better, dealing with some things, and that he had started his transitioning journey. Now, the channel currently has no videos, so it's hard to show what they had been up to nowadays, but I tried to scrap up whatever I could find. Nicole would continue to upload and livestream political and beauty related topics and adult content on other sites, but eventually they stopped uploading on YouTube altogether. Godson. 
Yeah, what's up you guys, this is Godson, welcome back. Today you guys, we are playing Clash Royale. One of the first creators in the Clash of Clans community, he rose to fame in the early days with his developer build gameplays, trolling, funny moments, and casual gameplay. Godson was a lot of people's favorite channel. When Clash Royale came out, he would immediately begin uploading it, alongside Clash of Clans and a little bit of Brawl Stars later on. But the more time that passed, the fewer Clash Royale videos he would upload, until eventually his last Royale video would be uploaded on October 2020, the first one in a while, but it seems this video went under the radar as the channel was having problems. He would continue to upload Clash of Clans, though the poor state of the channel was apparent and Godson would later explain in 2021 that the decline was most likely due to the channel being shadow banned because he was hacked three times over the years, leading people to report the channel when they were scammed by the hackers. Nonetheless, he continued on with the uploads, but eventually those would slow down and he's much more active in his new channel for Illuvium, which he seems to be enjoying. Boo for ready. Yes, what's going on? Welcome back to another episode of Marvel's- Buffaretti entered the Clash Royale scene in late 2016, and he would upload Clash Royale almost, if not daily since then. The channel would never really blow up in the likes of others, but he had a diehard fanbase. And that was enough to keep the motivation going. Unfortunately, he would private all of his Supercell content, but you could expect videos in a similar style to that of Bootram, Chief Pad, and Bentim1. Though, about two years ago, he would stop uploading all together and posted this in his community tab. And just like that, as mysteriously as he arrived, he was gone. But there was one game that would make him return, Marvel Snap. In his first video in two years, he would explain that he left because he was over Clash Royale and there was nothing left for him there. He then proceeded to explain that the channel would now focus on Marvel Snap. Reversal. Hello everyone, it is Up Reversal, so welcome back to another episode of Clash Royale. Many of you may not remember Reversal for his Clash Royale videos as that part of his time on YouTube is very small compared to other games that he's been uploading, but if you were watching a lot of Clash Royale in 2016, you may have stumbled across his channel. Like most creators at the time, Reversal had been uploading Clash of Clans and Boom Beach for years at that point. But upon Clash Royale's release, he would find major success with that, fully transitioning to that and Boom Beach. Eventually, Clash Royale became the main focus, and he would produce various content like mass chess openings, decks, and more. However, this venture was short-lived as in July 8th, 2016, he would upload his last Royale video. A few months later, he would explain he was simply tired of Clash Royale, and ever since that point, he's put 100% of his focus on various Pokemon games. Retrex What's up guys, welcome back to another Clash Royale video and today I will back- You may not know him by name, but you've most likely been baited and clicked on one of his videos in the past, as he was pretty good at clickbaiting and fooling his viewers. I don't think I need to explain what content he produced, just take a look at some of these titles. <laughs> he would make similar videos like this beginning in late 2016, and they would continue on until February 2018, where he would move on to Fortnite and never look back. World of Clash. Hey, what is going on, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I am super. Known for his origin stories, theories, and animation mashups, World of Clash probably rings a bell if you're really into that kind of content. But even before that, he was known for his base designs back in the day. Now, World of Clash is one of the more recent channels who seem to have quit as just eight months ago, he was still uploading Clash Royale. But by that point, the viewers noticed that the uploads had already been slowing down and his views were stalling. Unfortunately, I couldn't find any update on what he's been up to today, but like some creators on this list, he probably moved on from the YouTube scene entirely. And it's pretty typical for those that do that to abandon any accounts related to the channel. Galadon. Welcome fellow fans of Clash Royale. Thank you guys so much for stopping by Galadon Gaming. Galadon has been making videos forever, and with a channel that old, you're bound to switch games every now and then, so even though he's most known for his Clash of Clans content, he did dabble with some Clash Royale when that was launched. He made some deck guides, gemming sprees, and he even started a free-to-play series, but by the end of 2017, the Clash Royale videos would slow down, and he would upload his last video in April 2018. Ever since that point, he's continued his Clash of Clans content, and even 10 years later, he's still uploading almost daily. Master Saint 
this last one I'll touch on very briefly as it has to do with a YouTuber who was basically wiped by Supercell. Master Saint was no saint, more like Master Clickbaiter. <laughs> I just realized if you've removed click, it's just Master Big. Anyways, Master Saint was notorious for his false titles and thumbnails in the Clash of Clans days. But when Clash Royale came out, he would milk the hell out of that community as well. Unfortunately for him, the gig was short lived, luckily, because Supercell would strike the living hell out of his channel in June 2016. Now, I'm not sure what happened to him after. In fact, I don't even know what channel that was because he had like five of them but it appears he was last seen in early 2018. I only included this one because I know some would remember him and would probably wonder where he was. I don't know. I don't think many people care about him. So guys, that is pretty much it. There's obviously way more content creators that have quit, but I tried to select 15 of the most well-known, or at least 15 that I remember. If you want to see a similar video like this for Clash of Clans, it will be on the left here. There are some duplicates like Eclipse, Chief Pat, and Godson. However, in that video, we focus on their Clash of Clans journey and not Clash Royale. Anyways, with that being said, I hope you all enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching. Have a gaming out. Peace.